Hi guys, in this video we're just going to make a quick little Yoda cupcake topper. So we're going to roll out some green fondant and I'm just going to make my topper on one of my little purple sponge pads. It's covered in corn flour but that will stop it from sticking to it too much. And I'm just going to pick a circle cutter that's a bit bigger and I'm going to cut out the circle and we'll place this then around our little cupcake dome. I will put links to all the equipment that I use below the video as well. So I'm just going to push in little marks where I want his eyes to roughly go. So we're just going to take some black fondant now for his eyes. And we'll just roll two round eyes and squash these in place on here. If they don't stick, just add a little bit of water to them to help them stick in place. And what we're going to do now is roll another ball of green and we're just going to squash it flat a little bit with our finger and we're just going to cut this in half and then we're going to use these to stick over the tops of his eyes I'm going to do the same for underneath his eyes just going to roll a nice long piece that we're just going to flatten down a little bit and we'll just put these just above the eyelids that we've put on and then just using the back of my knife we're going to put two little lines down the middle and I'm just going to put a couple more little lines under his eyes. And I'll put some on the top of his head. I'm just using the back of the knife so that I'm not actually cutting through. So three lines across the top. And we'll just put a couple coming across. And then we're going to roll a ball for the mouth. I'm just going to kind of squash it down a little bit. Bring it up to a bit point here. And we're going to push this on here like that. Flattening the bottom bit down, down here. And we'll just put in a little line coming across, like that. And then if we want him to have wrinkly lips, we'll just add little lines across there. Coming up, we'll just give him a little oval shaped nose that will stick the top of his mouth there, like that. So he's starting to take shape a little bit now. So for his ears you can either make them a little bit smaller than they would normally be, otherwise they might droop in fondant, or we can add a little bit of Tylose powder to the fondant. So I've just got some Tylose powder here. I'm not very good with quantities, I'll be honest, so I'm just putting a small amount in. You should feel your fondant firm up a little bit. We're going to roll two teardrop shapes. And we're going to keep them quite chunky so that they don't flop backwards on themselves too much. Okay, so I've literally just pushed my finger in each one like that. While it's drying on the foam pad, it's not too bad because they can rest on here. So as long as you give that plenty of time to dry, the ears should stay in place when we take that off. Just get a bit of water on the eyes so I can stick these on. So we're just giving some highlights in the eyes with two little white fondant balls that we're going to stick in. And you can either leave it like that, or if you want, you can dust a bit of colour on so that we're shading it a little bit. So I'll just get out a piece of kitchen roll for putting my dust on. And I've got a little rainbow dust here. I've got a darker green than what I've used on his face. So just taking a little bit on a dry brush, brush off or dab off the excess. And then we're just going to brush it lightly anywhere where we've got like little creases on his face. So such as the ears and in any of the wrinkles. Okay, so we've dusted plenty of shading on him. So now we're just gonna let him dry for a couple of hours. So I've left mine a good few hours now to harden a little bit. And I've got a cupcake ready. Now my cupcake's quite domed, but that's fine because it will fit in with the dome of the face. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of buttercream and put it on the top of my cupcake. And then we're just going to place Yoda on the top, like that. If there's any buttercream poking out the sides, just give it a wipe off with your fingers or with a knife. There we go, there he is, all done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do check out my other Star Wars tutorials in the playlist. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.